So here's one way to have a lot of fun as you're reviewing for a test or an exam. I call it the human board game. And it's pretty simple. Basically, you spend some time with the kids preparing some game pieces using full pieces of paper. And you place them around the room to create a game board in order to play a review game. So here's a simple way to play. Basically, a player answers a question correctly. And if they do, they get a chance to roll the dice. And typically, if you have a dice and they have one um, die, they can roll. And then if they advance on the game board, physically walking from paper to paper as the game pieces. And whatever piece they land on, they must follow the instructions on that piece. And of course, whoever advances the most wins the game. Now, the funny thing about, about this game is that the kids are preparing the game pieces ahead of time, and they get some freedom to create some really fun ways to create game boards. A lot of them are gonna be familiar with games um, and knowing that different pieces on a game board are going to give you instructions like you know trade places with another player, um, advance three more spaces, or whatever it might be. They're going to come up with lots of creative things like this one, switch with your player of your choice, move ahead to the next green space. So if you're using markers, you can have colors and use the colors. That's pretty creative, of course. And then here's another one that get even more creative. Stay on this spot until you roll the numbers one, two, three, four in that exact order. So they can get really creative and sometimes difficult, and you might even get some complaints um, with some of the, the, uh, uh, the kids who might get in the really difficult game pieces, but it's fun to, to give them a chance to create the game pieces ahead of time in order to play the game. Now, it, it can get a little bit um, difficult when there's a large class, because then you have maybe one player who's participating and then a lot of other players that are just kind of standing around waiting. So it's best to split the group up a little bit divide them maybe maybe five um, to ten at most uh, players and that's probably even too much and maybe have little mini game boards going around the room different parts of the room or maybe even go into a, a larger space in order to play this review game and basically ma make a nice little shape you can go around the desks like the, the picture here or in this kind of a secluded space to create this you know live human board game in order to review for tests. Of course, the, the questions that you're coming up with or you're using are going to be similar to or on the actual tests so they, they can really start to review those, um, those questions that they need to know. And then as they're missing questions, really spend the time to review with the entire class or the entire group those questions that, um, that they are, are you need to prepare for. If you have multiple groups and you're giving them the questions, you just be careful to make sure you get the questions back um, if they're not already on like a review sheet or, or kind of a exam preparation sheet um, so that you're able to really give them a chance to do some more review at home.